the big thing is taking advantage of today and being excited about today. And, and it's not another game, it's a championship game, but at the same time, there's a reason that we, we, we earned our way here and let's play like it. It's the progression of the team and how much better that they've performed week in and week out and culminating with a big win against UCLA and how we played that football game. Hopefully those things will carry over into this championship game. Pac-12 title on the line. Let's play football. McCaffrey from the two. Got the edge across the 20. Nice return, as is the norm with him, out to the 32-yard line. So there's 31 more all-purpose yards to open things up. Kevin Hogan, Holly just talked about him. 34 career wins, a school record. And when you consider the names we've talked about, like Plunkett and Elway and Luck, not too bad. One and one in the two Rose Bowl appearances. I'll tell you, the thing that's impressive to me about Kevin Hogan you can call him a game manager as long as you're referring to one the same way you would refer to a Peyton Manning or a Tom Brady. This is a pro-style offense as we have a penalty on the first play of the game. Offside. Offside. Number 99 of the defense by contact. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. McCaffrey flacking Hogan in the backfield will get the carry. To the left edge, first down, and quite a bit more. Knocked out of bounds. But he's got it out for 13 yards. A full house backfield around Hogan here. And an inside give. And nice job to cut down Ramon Wright. Second down and 10. Make it 11, actually. Those negative yardage plays are hard to get against Stanford, but very critical. Play action. Hogan sets up, wants a deep ball, long down the middle, man's there, and caught, nope, he dropped it at the one. Adoree Jackson broke it up on Michael Rector at the last second. You have to respect the running game. The USC feels very confident playing man coverage. They did a week ago against UCLA. Rector has a step, but you see the closing speed of Adoree Jackson and gets his hand in there at the end to rip the football out. Last time these teams met, Stanford was 8 for 12 on third down. Stanford almost completed another third down, but it was dropped as well. Now flag comes in late. Pass interference. Number seven of the defense not playing the ball. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. Two tight end set for the Cardinal here. It's McCaffrey trying to take it wide to the left. Broke through to the second level. Make it the third level. Man. Picks up another 20 yards on that carry. And already the Cardinal in the red zone. And again, stiff arms, one man gets down near the 10. Opening possession for Stanford. The give is to right. Might have the first down. I really thought, Brad, coming into the game, there were a couple key areas of the game that would tell the story. This is one of them, red zone efficiency. They're great at getting leverage and staying low, getting their pad level lower than the defense in short yardage plays. So here it's the third down, the best in the business on one side, the best in the business trying to stop the other. Everybody in tight on third down at inches. And right into the middle of the pile goes right. And we got a flag down. Yeah, we got a false start penalty on Stanford. Ball starts. Offensive left tackle. Five yard penalty. Still third down. Now Hogan, the direct snap is McCaffrey, and he's got the first down at the five. They had an overload on this side, and they quick snapped USC, and they weren't quite set defensively. And then again, McCaffrey with good vision found the uh, crease and got the football past the marker. Eighth play of the opening drive, and it's inside the five yard line now. First and goal. Hogan in the gun. He's going to try to run, and he is cut down for a loss of about six. And it's Sua Cravens, the guy we talked about, the best tackler on this USC team. The thing that makes Sua Cravens so good is his instincts. He's fast, he's strong, yes, but he has instincts. He knows how to play football. With that tackle, he's got 14 and a half tackles for loss on the year. Hogan throws out to McCaffrey, who's got a blocker on the edge. Touchdown, Stanford. They're going to call this back, though. Stallworth was blocking, but I think they're going to get him for a hold. Holding. Number 13 of the offense. 10-yard penalty. Third down will be repeated. 
Bricks in second down. Hogan keeps with himself. Got about four of it back. It'll be third down and goal. USC has them where they want them. Third and goal from the 12-yard line. Keep your eye on Austin Hooper. Hogan rolls to his right. Fires too far in front of Rollins Stallworth. And it's fourth down. Conrad Yukopina, who hit the game winner against Notre Dame a week ago. 15 of 17 on the year. This will be a 30-yard field goal attempt to try to put Stanford on the scoreboard. Yukopina from 30, and he's got it. And our Pac-12 championship game has the number seven team in the country out early. 3-0 Stanford. Dory Jackson waiting on the kick from Jake Bailey. Mr. Do Everything, Adoree Jackson hesitated. He's going to bring it out from four yards deep. And he made the first guy miss. Somehow still on his feet and across the 30. What a return by number two, 33 yards. USC with their first snap and Kessler throws complete for about a one yard gain to Juju Smith Schuster. His number one target. Juju comes in. That's his 75th catch of the year. Cody Kessler out of Bakersfield. Over 3,100 yards, 27 touchdowns, six interceptions. Last year had 39 touchdowns and just five interceptions. Really takes care of the ball. And he's been quite a leader for this USC team. And He's going to join an elite group tonight, too, and go over the 10,000-yard mark passing. Justin Davis up the middle for a couple. And that'll bring up third down on the opening drive for USC as well. Here comes a blitz. It's picked up pretty well by the Trojans. And now Kessler going to try to scramble for the first down, and he got it. Now, you see the guttiness, the grittiness of both these quarterbacks. And we'll see it all night. They are so similar, Cody Kessler and Kevin Hogan. Nothing there. Get north and south. Don't worry about sliding. Try to get a first down. Do what you can to help your team be successful. He doesn't run a lot. He scored three touchdowns on the ground, but with the sack yardage, it's a negative yardage total for him on the year, but that was a big play on third and seven. He got eight yards. And the ball knocked down by Brennan Scarlett. Ronald Jones in there now with Kessler in the backfield for USC. Explosive guy, very quick. And gets it out to about the 49. Martinez was the first guy to meet him. Picked up six. Third down at four. Adoree Jackson's in on offense. Number two. Kessler all day to throw. Fires it down the middle. Too high, though. Incomplete. And it was Juju Smith Schuster, the intended receiver. And USC, well, a minute, late penalty. I think we yeah. might have had a little fracas going in the secondary. After the conclusion of the play, on sportsmanlike conduct, number nine of the offense, 15-yard penalty, fourth down. This is number nine's first unsportsmanlike conduct penalty of the game. Juju's playing. He had a, a, a broken hand. November 2nd had surgery, a plate and eight screws in. He's playing without a cast now, but still not 100%. Alvarado's punts. McCaffrey waits on at the 24, and he's buried immediately. Great job. The coverage unit to get down there is Quentin Powell. Christian McCaffrey's done his job already with yeah. 47 yards on the ground. Yeah, a total of 80 yards. He needs 216, or needed 216, so he's 133 shy of that unbelievable mark of Barry Sanders from back in the late 80s. And here's McCaffrey going through about seven more. Yeah, the good news for USC's defense in that first possession, they held up the field goal. The bad news is Christian McCaffrey is running into the second level of their defense pretty freely early in this football game, and that is not a good recipe for USC. He obviously an All-American as a return man and a running back. That throw is in and out of the hands of the intended receiver, Trenton Irwin. Dory Jackson made the play defensively. Third down and three. So you have to be alert for Kevin Hogan as a runner as well. McCaffrey covers that ball with both hands and barrels his way for about six yards. First down, Stanford. I mentioned Barry Sanders in his 
single season all purpose record. Here comes his son, Barry Sanders Jr. Broke one tackle, only got about a yard out of it, though. Hogan now under center on second down and nine. Here's the stretch play to right. And Ramon spinning his way for what looks like a first down. We mentioned earlier 39 29, time of possession the first time around. That is holding on to the football. Hogan faked the pass and now follows his blockers across midfield, and he's got eight or nine before they bring him down. McCaffrey back in there in the Stanford backfield. See again, so much directing by Kevin Hogan. McCaffrey first down easily, and here he goes off to the races. A little hesitation inside the 30 and down to the 24. And that's 23 more yards for number five. First down at the 23. McCaffrey again got some good blocking out in front and now he just keeps his legs driving for eight more yards averages eight yards plus per touch he's touching it again broke a tackle in the backfield should have been a loss of about six as it is he lost a yard or two this is right in the wheelhouse for Stanford third down and short the way Harrell, they run Harrell in there at fullback they've run it seven straight times make it eight McCaffrey I think he got the first down on forward progress, but we'll see where they mark it. High. He handled it, though, and tried to weave his way in there and maybe got a yard on all that running. Trojans trail at the end of the first quarter in their last seven games. They're going to trail at the end of this quarter in the Pac-12 championship game. They found a way to win five of those seven. We start the second quarter with a Cardinal just inside the USC 11 yard line with a second down and nine. They've run it 10 straight times. Barry Sanders is in a tailback right now. Hogan back in at quarterback. Barry gets the pitch. It's an end around to McCaffrey and a throw to Hogan. Touchdown, Stanford. You know, we've been working in practice and. Uh, you know, it had worked in practice, and, and, and you know, it's, it's a little bit of a reverse, and we wanted to make it look like a toss to the left, and, and Barry did a great job selling it. You know, pitched it to me, and, and my job was easy. Um, you know, those are, those are always the scariest ones, though, when he's when he's that wide open, and just praying that you get it to him, and, and obviously, Hogan, Hogan can catch the ball. Adore will take this one. Around the two yard line had a nice return last time. This one's going to be pretty good as well. And then he might have gotten horse collar down at the end of it. I don't see a flag. 22 yard return. Justin Davis got about three. That's Juju in motion. And flags fly from everywhere. Full start. Number 72 of the offense. Five yard penalty. Remain second down. Trey Madden checks in with Cody Kessler and a Trojan backfield. Good pass protecting running back. Kessler in trouble. He's just got to put this one on the turf. They were trying to set up a screen, I guess, yep. to Trey Madden. Here comes a blitz. Kessler in trouble. Got rid of it at the last moment, but he got leveled as he threw, and it's incomplete. And he took a big shot from Alfieri. He waits for a second, comes inside. Madden picks up the first linebacker. The second one gets there for the hit. And he really took it as the punt goes to McCaffrey around the 34-yard line with the fair catch. Here's McCaffrey find a little opening and he's off to the races Christian McCaffrey can they catch him they'll knock him out of bounds but a big gainer all the way down to the 11 yard line can't talk enough about the O line uh, in, in the holes especially in the first half uh, we knew that that we, we were going to have if we wanted to win the game we were going to have to run the ball efficiently and uh, you know those guys were unbelievable 143 yards on the ground and McCaffrey second most all-purpose yards now in a single season with that big run of 50. And Hogan takes it down to the 10. And he'll lead him. And McCaffrey got one. That's about it. Maybe two. 
Little hesitation, dances in the hole, spins inside the five, and he's got a first down at the four. Hogan back in to take the shotgun snap. The give, though, is to McCaffrey. Inside the three, that's about it. Claude Cologne made the tackle off the defensive front for USC. Just inside the three-yard line, second down and goal. McCaffrey is going to empty the backfield. And we got flags all over. And yeah, that time of possession edge is almost All unfair. Starters. Number 51 of the offense. Five-yard penalty, still second down. And he gives it to Wright. And Ramon broke one tackle and two and down inside the two. Ramon Wright has scored 13 touchdowns in this kind of situation this year. Didn't get this one. Big stop. Anthony Serra was one of the first guys to meet him. I'll tell you what, the freshman Rasheem Green, number 94, made the play. He went low and submarined underneath. And so when Wright went over the pile, he wasn't close enough to the goal line. And then Serra finished him off on the top. Going to force a field goal attempt. That is a big time stop for the Trojan defense. It'll be a chip shot field goal here for Ukropina, about an 18 yarder. Hit his first one from 30. Ukropina to try to make it 13 to nothing, and flags fly before the snap. Delay a game. Delay of game. Didn't see offense. Five yard penalty. Still fourth down. Not 100 percent sure they didn't take that on purpose. He was so close, it was closer than an extra point. So now a we'll try from 23. And it's perfect. Fifty nine yard drive eight plays another five minutes used up by Stanford to get a twenty three yard field goal and that young man has already had a huge first half and again that time of possession and the way that Stanford plays and the way that Kevin Hogan manages things from the quarterback position it wears on you when you've run twice as many plays in the red zone as your opponent has plays all together in the half it's not a good sign for the guys in the white jerseys right now they need to get a spark offensively and maybe Adoree Jackson can do it for him as a return man from a yard deep I think we'll see him on offense too Ooh, got cartwheeled out to the 20 big hit by Craig Jones USC really needs somebody else to step up I mean Juju Smith Schuster is their go to guy their big play receiver he's going to have to make a few plays he's in motion Kessler's looking for him, but now he goes the other way. Long ball on the sideline, broken up, intended for Stephen Mitchell. And it was Quentin Meeks, a freshman back there, making the play. USC's offense, 20 plays, 20 yards. Here's a quick slant, and the ball is dropped by Mitchell. Kessler's going to go down inside the five. Brennan Scarlett with a sack. And that gives him the sack lead for the Cardinal defense. Watch him come right through here and get to the quarterback. Little inside stunt. Alvarado, not the greatest punt in the world. It's going to take a bounce that McCaffrey will field at midfield. McCaffrey at the 40. Christian McCaffrey on the punt return. Inside the 20-yard line. And again, he electrifies in so many ways. A 31-yard punt return. Best player in the nation. Uh, I don't know if it's even a question. There's nobody in the nation doing what he's doing. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's not even a debate. And with that return, he ties the great Barry Sanders for single season all-purpose yards. What a way to do it on a 31-yard punt return. He'll get a breather after the punt return with Bryce Love. The tailback and he empties the backfield a short throw here to Hooper the tight end. Love the freshman tailback in there behind Kevin Hogan. At the USC 18 yard line. He's going to get the carry he's lightning fast if he gets into the secondary he does and he's got first and goal at the five. McCaffrey will take the direct snap high snap again this time he handles it follows the left side of his offensive line for a couple and that'll give him a single season all-purpose yard mark 
as he was tied with Barry Sanders until that carry. He'll take another snap, second and goal at the three. McCaffrey, close, but no touchdown. Ramon Wright will be in the backfield. The first time they met this year, he had three touchdowns, all from a yard out. He has 24 rushing touchdowns in the last two years from this kind of range. And for the second time tonight, USC stops him short of the goal line. Clock winding down, two seconds on the play clock. Play faking. Hogan's buried by Porter Gustin. What a huge play for the USC defense. Excellent tackle in the open field. No hesitation and a big stop for the Trojan defense. They have to take advantage. They have to capitalize. Nice spin. Justin Davis, best play of the night so far for the Trojan offense. Davis picks up 15 on that last carry. He'll try him again. And he's cut down, loss of a yard. And Solomon Thomas off the defensive front made the play. We're under three and a half minutes of this first half that is flying by courtesy of the time of possession of Stanford. There's a good throw and catch. Darius Rogers, first down, USC. The quarterback so far not doing a lot it's because Christian McCaffrey's been the offense for Stanford. Out to the 35 is Davis. Here's a throw and catch to Juju Schuster, uh, Smith Schuster. And that gets it into Stanford territory. The Trojans first snap in Cardinal territory. Kessler fires near side. He's got the same man and a first down. They are at the 41 yard line, however. Cody Kessler at the controls. Waits, flushed out of the pocket. Throws on the run and incomplete intended for Juju. Smith Schuster, but broken up by Alameen Murphy, home of the 49ers and Super Bowl 50. Tonight, home to the Pac 12 championship and a loss on the play. Justin Davis loses three. Kessler, third and 13, fires. Was it caught? It was. Nice catch by Juju Smith Schuster. Again, remember, he's doing this with a hand that was surgically repaired on November 2nd. He's got eight screws in that hand plus a plate and still snatches that one and forces an opportunity for a fourth down at a couple of feet right here. Big time fourth down and they're going to get it but not by much. Justin Davis only needed about two feet and he got about a yard and a half. Kessler comes out here in the flat though complete to Davis spinning his way down to the yeah, 27. Justin Davis should have gotten out of bounds. Kessler scanning the field. And he's going to throw this one out of bounds to stop the clock and it'll bring up third down and seven. Davis is going to empty that backfield. Cody Kessler the quick throw out. Smith Schuster wisely gets out of bounds with the stiff arm. Wood kick on the way and it hung in there. He stayed with it and it went through the right upright. So finally USC gets on the board. So it was a 71 yard drive and 15 plays used four minutes and six seconds and a couple of timeouts that they would have preferred to have saved. But they do get the three points. Here's McCaffrey on the bounce at the three. And he's out to the 29 26 yard kick return. This big game Pac-12 championship has reached out to You know, the best thing that USC did in that first half was play red zone defense. If they wouldn't have played as well as they did in the red zone, this lead would have been insurmountable. And the kick goes out of bounds. So that's going to give them great field position to start things off. So at the 35 yard line to open the third quarter, Cody Kessler and the Trojan offense. Justin Davis on the handle. And Davis got three or four before he's cut down. Davis again follows his blockers. Here's Justin Davis. Davis 
into Stanford territory. Biggest play of the night for the ground game of USC. Watch 51, and he's going to cut down a blitz from the outside. The key block, Damian Mama right there, takes care of the blitzing nickelback, and Justin Davis with a nice run. Play action, quick strike. Juju Smith-Schuster, and this is what USC didn't do in the first half. First down in the red zone of the 16. You get a successful run, play action, freeze the linebackers, and get the ball in the hands of your best playmaker on the perimeter. Balance, mixture, keep the defense off balance. Just what the USC doctor ordered to open the third quarter. Down in Stanford territory and try to close this to a field goal game. Davis broke a tackle inside the 10, fighting down to about the eight. He'll try to get the one. He's going to get more than one. First and goal, USC. Trey Madden in the backfield with Kessler. High snap. Trey gets the carry. Got it to the one yard line. Cody Kessler in the flat. Pinner, touchdown. Pinner out of the backfield, well executed, and a beautiful drive to start the second half by USC. 65 yards, they cap it with Cody Kessler's 28th touchdown pass of the year. The extra point is blocked. It's scooped up by Stanford. So it's not 13 to 10, 13 to 9. And that extra point is no good. Bormeister will kick off. You know who's back deep. Christian McCaffrey. This will be McCaffrey from the goal line. And got out around the 24. And what does USC do to try to stop the run? Do they commit extra bodies to the line of scrimmage? McCaffrey straight up the middle. Maybe three yards before forward progress is stopped. Hogan throw is high but caught. Michael Rector pick up of six. It's going to bring up third down at short. And they got this one, I think. Kevin Hogan giving it off to McCaffrey following his blockers for about three before he's run out of bounds. He'll get the carry. And picks up four or five. Seventh time, third and three or less for Stanford tonight. McCaffrey, the direct snap, hesitates, and this time they cut him down at the line of scrimmage. Adore Jackson on the other end is a dangerous return man. They'll try to keep it out of his hands, and in doing so, and that's what happens. Going to knock it out of bounds. the Pac-12 championship game. USC and Stanford 13-9. Stanford in front, but USC's got it back, having scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Cody Kessler off play action. He's going to run with this one, get what he can, and gets out of bounds with about a five-yard pickup. Good decision. There is Rodgers in motion. The gives to Justin Davis. Follows his blockers and in to the second level out to the 45-yard line. Play action, quick slant, caught. Rodgers, first down. More importantly right now, first down at the 44. The quick throw completes. Juju Smith-Schuster. Trey Madden broke a tackle in the backfield. Wow, he took somebody's feet right. Uh, Ronald Jones, I beg your pardon, was the ball carrier. Again, they throw high out in the flat, but great hands. And... and Looking for a flag, there it comes. First no foul, horse collar check. Number 13 of the defense, half the distance to the goal, from the end of the run, first down. Justin Davis spins inside the 10 to the 7, but a flag flies in. First no foul, chop block. Number 48 and 51 yep. of the offense. 15-yard penalty. First down will be repeated. Smith Schuster to the bottom of your screen. They'll keep it on the ground. And wow. 
This might be a touchdown. It is Ronald Jones. Watch these two guys get their block, and then down the field, watch Juju Smith-Schuster. Number nine, get the key block that springs the electric Ronald Jones into the end zone. Christian McCaffrey returns the kickoff back to the 22-yard line. McCaffrey cuts it up inside. Picks up four. Kevin Hogan is going to have to look to throw the ball downfield. USC committing a lot of bodies to the line of scrimmage, playing with one single high safety. That means man-to-man -man coverage. Look at all these white shirts around the line of scrimmage, daring you to throw the football. McCaffrey stacked up at the line again. And a nice job again by that front, led by Claude Pallone and Marvell Tell. Three wide outs, play clock down to two seconds. Hogan fires over the middle. It's McCaffrey in the open field. Christian McCaffrey still winding his way down inside the 10. What doesn't he do? That's what you, you could ask me, but he, he catches the ball out the backfield and makes a guy miss and take it to the house for 90. You can rush the ball inside on that edge. And, uh, really score with any play they draw for him. He's just a special guy. And in my opinion, you know, he should win my husband. He is as good as advertised. Hogan will keep it himself. Kevin Hogan, touchdown! A designed quarterback run. You have a lead blocker right here. You pull the backside guard. Design run all the way. You gain an extra blocker when the quarterback runs, and he takes care of the last guy, the safety, Marvell Tell. Jake Bailey to kick. A Dory Jackson. Nope, it's going to be taken. Oh, that's a bad play by Justin Davis. I'm not sure what he was thinking about. And you see how deep Justin Davis is in his own end zone. He'll try to bring it out of there to the five, and that's it. It's a pump and go. Going to air one out for Rodgers, and it's almost intercepted. They're only one out of six on their third down conversions tonight. Here comes a blitz from the secondary. Kessler waits, fires late, got it to him for a first down. No, wait a minute. They're going to say incomplete. Incomplete. Fourth down. After review, the ruling on the field would be changed. He's a completed pass at the 14-yard line. The ball was pulled loose by a second half by the defender. First down, USC. Now they can go back to work on the ground if they choose to do so. Justin Davis behind Kessler will get the carry. On the edge, Justin Davis, another good run. Second down and two. And cut down for a loss of two by Blake Martinez. Smith Schuster to the top of your screen has been the favorite target of Kessler. He's looking that way. He's firing that way. Got it to Stephen Mitchell. First down. Man, a couple of minutes ago, they were camped out inside their own five-yard line, and they're out at the 43 right now. And there's a loss on the play of a yard or two. Ronald Jones brought down by Mike Tyler. Kessler fires too far in front of Smith-Schuster. Kessler pressured, hit from behind. The ball is loose. Scooped up by Stanford. Solomon Thomas. Touchdown! Defensively, we knew we were going to have to make a, a game-breaking play. At some point, in the day, somebody's going to have to get a turnover, force a fumble, get an interception. Um, great job by Blake Martinez. Great job by Solomon Thomas picking it up. Um, really, really big play. Just doing our job, getting the checks right. Um, who's doing this certain place, given the formation, and we got it, and I made that play. I got solid there, pick it up, and scoop the score, and take it in. Jake Bailey's kick. There won't be a fight over this one. It's going to go out of bounds. And again, second time this half, USC gets the ball at the 35 yard line. We won't find out till the fourth quarter. Davis will lose a couple, and the quarter comes to a close. <laughs> 15 to go to crown a Pac 12 champion. Stanford in front. Adoree Jackson, very explosive, still on his feet. Spinning his way close to the 40-yard line. At the first down, at the 40. Kessler, quick throw over the middle. Smith-Schuster in motion. 
The give is straight ahead, and it's a tough first down for Ronald Jones. Justin Davis slips on his own, or he might have gotten a few more yards, but he's inside the 20 with a 12-yard gain and another first down. First and 10 at the 17. Cody Kessler, the quick throw out. Smith Schuster with a stiff arm. Had to pay the price to get an extra yard, but he did get five. Mitchell in motion. It's a keeper by Kessler. Touchdown. Wow. Watch Kevin Anderson. He is not even thinking that the quarterback's going to pull this and keep it. He tackles the back, and there is nobody there to account for Cody Kessler. I have to imagine some kind of a rub play. You've got three receivers right here in a bunch formation. They toss it to Matt. It's going to be a throwback, or it was going to be. It's not going anywhere. It's a throw down courtesy of Solomon Thomas, his second big play in the last few minutes. Matt Bormeister's got it teed up for USC after they went 65 yards and seven plays to get that touchdown run by Cody Kessler. And it's 27 22. Christian McCaffrey from the five yard line. And still running as he gets out to the 25, and we go out and check in with Adnan Burke. Bryce Love is behind him in the Cardinal backfield. He'll get the carry, and he's cut down. Loss of a yard. Pump fake one way, screen the other. McCaffrey trying to follow his blockers. They're going to bring him down after a pickup of five or so. McCaffrey just in a little slot on the left side. Hogan may or may not have changed the play. He'll take the snap and the shotgun. Pressure coming. Down the middle. Complete. First down, Cardinal. Got it to his tight end. A pickup of eight to Hooper at the 39 yard line. McCaffrey. Another five or six. McCaffrey, a little quick opening draw again. Made the first man miss, and he's gone over 400 all-purpose yards in this game with that eight-yard carry. He'll get the carry. No, he won't. Hogan's keeping it. Good fake by Hogan. Second and five with 8.45 to play. At the Trojan 42, Kevin Hogan fires complete. And it's Michael Rector again, and they'll move the sticks down around the 35-yard line. Right now, Stanford would just like to use that time of possession that they're so good at. USC looking for a stop, trying to find a way to bring down number five. McCaffrey a couple more yards before they cut him down. It'll be third and two. Hogan, Craven's coming after him. He sidesteps that rush, throws wide open. McCaffrey, he's going to score. He's going to come here and see if there's a blitz, and then he slips out the backside unaccounted for. You can't allow a guy who's gone for over 400 all-purpose yards slip into your defense unaccounted for. As Todd said, a guy that had over 400 yards of offense before that last play. And that last play is good for 28 more. 75-yard drive, 10 plays, just under six minutes. Jake Bailey will kick to Adore Jackson from the five yard line. And great special teams play as he goes down. Justin Reed made the hit. Tony Kessler, plenty of time to throw. Got it to Trey Madden. We know that there's going to be some running backs in the mix for sure this year. Pass incomplete intended for Juju Smith-Schuster. Elijah Holder, he and Holder and Smith-Schuster been going at it all night long. And now he'll come in motion back to the backfield. Kessler got to have this one. Got it complete. His favorite target first down. They haven't gotten the big long pass plays down the field. Stanford has made great improvement tonight compared to the last two weeks of not getting beat over the top on deep throws down the field that they gave up to Oregon 
and Notre Dame. Time is of the essence. Just over five minutes to play. Ooh, great move on the ball by Elijah Holder. Had he been able to keep his footing, he might have had a pick six. Kessler on second down, pumps once, and now he's going down, and it's Solomon Thomas, who's been a nightmare for him, including a fumble return for a touchdown. Kessler fires in the middle of the field and almost picked off again. Justin Reed got that one. Their two safeties were standing back at the line they need, which is the 46 of Stanford. Kessler, deep middle, had a man somewhat open in Stephen Mitchell, but he overshot him. I'd wager to say at least two running backs are going to be at that ceremony yep. and this guy might be one of them yep. McCaffrey for a yard Harold a fullback in front of him here on second down and nine they're using as much of that play clock as they can and then the give to McCaffrey bounces it outside in two games against USC this season he's got almost 700 all purpose yards it's like a season for most people it's in two games. Here he comes again, cartwheels his way to the 29. Roman Wright in the backfield with Kevin Hogan, along with Dalton Schultz, one of the tight ends. Hogan fires far side, complete, out of bounds, and took Kajust a long time to get a catch, but it was a big one. Stanford will wait until the last second for Hogan to take the snap. They get it with two, and down to the 10 goes McCaffrey. Recognize what Kevin Hogan has truly meant to this football team and this program at Stanford. Yep. What he's done, if they hold on here, will be 35 and 10 as a starting quarterback at Stanford, the winningest quarterback in Stanford history. And he is a game manager, but but there's so much to that in this offense in terms of checking to the right plays, directing traffic, setting protections. He does so much that people don't understand. He's completed his last eight passes. They don't have to pass now. They just give it to number five and let him go. Touchdown, Stanford. And they just they just keep pounding. Man, his patience. Do we talk about everything? Well, he's run it in an incredible way. Great vision, balance, the quickness in the hole, the ability to change directions without losing speed. 32 carries, 207 yards. He's been a return guy who's made plays in the return game. When they started to slow him down as a runner, they did other things. He threw a touchdown pass to Kevin Hogan. And in the second half, he started out as a receiver. A couple of big catches in the second half. This is an outlet receiver, but what an outlet receiver he is. <laughs> Fifth highest single game total all-purpose yardage in college football history. He converted six third downs. You and I have been together seven years. When's the last time we had a guy run for a touchdown, throw a touchdown pass, and have a touchdown reception? Like maybe never? Yeah. Pretty good. It is the first game of the season. Somebody has run for one, had a reception for a touchdown, and thrown one as well. It's 41 to 22, and USC out of timeouts. Cody Kessler going to throw this one away. Kessler across the middle. Darius Rogers makes the catch for a first down. Justin Davis, another first down inside the 20. Cody Kessler sidesteps the rush and fires this one as far as he can into almost the crowd. The committee making a decision between Stanford and Ohio State. That's a very probable matchup that we might see in the Rose Bowl. That'd be a good game. Yeah. Really good game. Not the way Cody Kessler wanted to end his night on the turf. But that's the way it's going to be. Congratulations to the Cardinal of Stanford, the Pac-12 champions. A huge honor. Uh, it's, it's just the story of, of a team coming together when, when, when all, all was against us. And I'll never forget after that Northwestern win, Kevin Hogan came up to me and 
and told us that we had two options, and one was to, was to falter, and one was to get back in the playbook and do everything we can to, to be the best team we can, and, and now we're here, and it's, it's an incredible honor, and you know, I've, I've said it a thousand times, but I, I love this team more than anything, and um, you know, just extremely blessed to be with a group of guys like this. Uh, just gotta, gotta keep finishing the job. Uh, you know, we, we decided not to ice bucket coach after this game because uh, we had a great feeling before this season and throughout that we were gonna meet our goal, which was this championship. Uh, so uh, we, we wanna read our, reach our ultimate goal, which is to win whatever bowl game we have. The guy asked me about Mount Rushmore of quarterbacks in Stanford history if, if uh, Kevin Hogan deserves to be on it. And I said, absolutely, regardless of the outcome of this game, um, you know, with Elway, Plunkett, uh, Luck, and, and Kevin. And, and Kevin will never say that, but I don't think it's even a question. Congratulations to your Pac-12 championship football team, the Stanford Cardinals.